Good morning and Good welcome to Acoma International Academy of Arts and Sciences. I would just like to direct your attention to the picture up on the wall, which is the founder. <laughs> the founder of our school and my mother, Malpia Brantuo. She built this school in 2004 with her own money. And so it's been sustained since then through donations and private money. And then, of course, that's her daughter over there. Me. <laughs> so at this time, you have a chance to see the school. So I'll take questions if you have any. It's a private school? It's a private school. Yes. So the private school they have fees to pay. They have school fees to pay. And we're pretty low. Our school fees are probably the lowest in the area. But still the parents find hard to pay the full amount. Because we're in a rural farming community. And most of our parents are farmers. So that's why donations help us a lot. So we appreciate that. So we, we try to give uh, everybody equal opportunity regardless of their station in life. So anybody's welcome whether they can pay or not. Can you explain the bank situation? Is it a bank taking transfer? Yes. Or is it, okay. Yes. From my bank to your bank? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. And I can also give you that information as well. Okay? What's the youngest student you have? Uh, probably about Nine months old, I guess. Yeah. Oh, baby. Yeah, we just got a brand new baby today. A brand new one. And so, usually the first three or days or so, they're crying. Yeah. They're crying, crying, crying. Mama, mama, mama. I know, really, yeah. yeah. So, she must be asleep right now. So, that baby parent must work or something. Yes. Yes, all of them work, whether they're farming or selling something. Yes, so everybody does work. Uh, most everybody is an entrepreneur here. Yeah. And you told me you had you told this overnight? Overnight? Not at this time. We did have a dormitory. Okay. Which was the um, place you went where we have the research center now. Okay. That was our dormitory. Yeah. How many teachers do we have? How many teachers do we have, Baba? Twelve teachers. Twelve teachers. And I think five other staff. Yeah. And our class sizes are small. We have um, average about nine to twelve students per class, except for this one. <laughs> and the kindergartens, those are pretty big, like 27. 27-ish, yeah. Uh-huh, so we do not have a, a school bus, which is the um, common mode of transportation for all private schools. So the parents find means and ways. They hire friends with uh, pickup trucks and the kids ride in the back of open beds or they get in a taxi or some of them walk. Lunch, yeah, they buy lunch from us. You want to talk about lunch, please? The menu and everything. So, Bob Quasi will address the lunch. So, yeah, we have a lunch menu for the kids, and uh, it's a very subsidized lunch meal by Food for Education Ghana. It's a, a charity project in trying to uh, grow and then also help feed the children at school. But some of the kids, they come to school with no money. Yeah, so right now some of the kids don't pay, but because others pay, they get little bit from the lunch. Yeah, but food for education's idea is to basically um, provide free lunch for school kids. Yeah, basically in the areas where parents can't afford to feed their kids when they are in school. So we help them in that area. So right now we are helping Akuma uh, with the projects as the, as the, the beginning. We are helping them on lunch, lunch meals. That's what we do now. We try to give them a balanced meal 
got vegetables, uh, protein, like plant protein and crop protein, I mean, uh, poultry protein to help them grow very well and then be able to learn better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Healthy body, strong mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's all we have for, for lunch. Yes, thank you. And as you can hear, they're out on recess now, which is started by lunch. So they go out, they get their lunch, and they're free to eat wherever they like to eat. Um, our land reaches all the way back to those dead bushes back there. Uh oh, I can't put that up. <laughs> so, but they're not allowed to go all the way back there, but they're allowed to go all the way around. You see the front of the school, so there's a play field over there. You'll see them uh, playing football, which we call soccer. Uh, so they, they eat and they run around and play for 40 minutes. But today they're staying out a little longer because we have guests. <laughs> yeah. Um, we, we are certified up to ninth grade. Yeah. So, 789 is junior high school here. <laughs> These two little brothers, they're just having a good time. <laughs> they want to come and greet you so bad. <laughs> Any other questions? Can you give a on your YouTube? Yes. So uh, my name is Justine Case. Say that again. Just in case somebody wanna send Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wow, so we are an NGO called the Coma Educational Charity Foundation. And that's also the name on our bank account for any donations. Um, but to contact me directly, my phone number is plus 233, which is the country code, and then 020-533-4824. So when you call from outside the country, you drop that first zero. And if you're in the country, you don't need the 233, and you use the zero. Okay, so if you call me, then I can let you know the exact bank details. We also accept Western Union, so that's another option. Okay, and we are located in Ayesidu, which is a little uh, rural area of Elmina, Ghana. Ayesidu. Yeah, and it's in the central region of Ghana. My name? I'm Chikesha. Yes. Chikesha means bringer of laughter. <laughs> yes. Yes. So I also have a name that I was born by, <laughs> and that's Priscilla. So <laughs> I use both the legal one and then the one that I really uh, vibe with is Chikesha. So everybody calls me Mama Chikesha. Oh, I appreciate you coming. <laughs> oh, you just broke with the children. I wish I had got some video of that. Maybe when you're leaving, I'll bring my phone and get you, okay? That would be great. We have a Facebook page, and that's Acoma International Academy. And so everything that we're doing. It's updated on the Coma International Academy Facebook page. We had we had a website, but it was just a bit too much because uh, scammers and things would always attack our website. It's hard to upload pictures from here to a website when you don't know the Java or the whatever Juma or whatever they use to make the website. So, Facebook works for us very well. Okay, so, I see you brought us some lovely gifts. Shall we go and take a look at what we have received? And thank you properly. Okay, I will let you thank you properly. Mama Rose, come. Mama Jay, please come. Please come. Mama. Come and stand with me, Mama. Come and stand with us, quickly. So I just want to bring some of my staff. 
to help thank me. Some stand over there, please. Mama, over on that side. To help me thank you properly for these lovely gifts. Somebody said we visited an orphanage before we came here and we gave everything away. But this doesn't look like you gave everything away. This is awesome. This is a lot of things. Look at that, Mama. Puzzles for the babies. <laughs> this is really, really appreciated. And everything here. So, by the way, as the assistant, can you please give them a great thank you for us? Sure. Okay, so. Um,
Say power. Thank uh you. -huh.